certain upcoming album New World and let's get to the crowdfunding uh, in a minute but first could you tell me a bit about these 12 songs uh, first of all like when and how were these songs written well actually m most of them are still being written so we have kind of the skeleton of the album but now it needs some muscles on top of it some tissue okay when did you start working on these uh songs and when did you kind of get the idea for the crowdfunding actually that's a very difficult question because uh it usually happens that um we write uh something some piece of music and we can decide that um it will not go for this album but we will um leave this for the future and then we can use it uh for the other song so i think that um among these 12 songs uh there is some that probably were written long ago can you remember well i think you? the first pieces of music were written probably something like two years ago so i think that started in march uh, 2019 and it's still continuing right now okay so what are these uh 12 songs about what's the storyline ha huh. well it's not a it's a secret <laughs> no, it's, not. It's, it's, it's not a concept album, so it's not like Legacy of Atlantis where you have a story, you know, with characters and everything like that. That's not the case here. So <clears throat> there is, of course, um, our general idea what the whole thing is about, but there is no storyline. So the whole idea, I think. It is uh, the same as usual for our band. It is like um, it is about the spiritual development, about the um, finding uh, some new, um, long forgotten places <laughs> and stuff like this. So it is about um, ruining all limitations and going beyond and finding something new so that's uh, what we're singing about for all the time yeah so i would also add to that the basic motives of you know freedom or uh, we could say is as libertarianism denial of authority and i would say that the main idea is also about or um, you know going beyond the limitations which people place upon themselves for example i personally think that you know in the let's say 16th century in europe um <clears throat> there was the catholic church there was christianity which tried to possess monopoly on truth so as any abrahamic religion it said that our truth is the only truth and everything else is lies just because we said so and if you don't agree with us we're, we're going to kill you and our that's called dogma and then over the course of the renaissance science appeared as a challenge to this kind of dogmatic thinking uh and science was in the beginning a revolutionary thing which battled against this uh world model which is based on belief you know on just accepting and say and, and saying nothing but i have the feeling that today science is slowly becoming at least parts of science are slowly becoming what it initially try, tried to destroy so modern uh, science is very dogmatic. It is very based on authority. And let's say if you invent something that solves a problem, but it's very cheap and you cannot make money from it, you, you will have a lot of problems with getting your invention 
are released to the public because of the, such a thing as community, peer reviewed, etc. they will simply block you because you will be competing with other less effective things, but which are more commercially tangible and many things like that. So our, that is one aspect of what we're, we're doing, but it is a larger part of a larger picture, so to say. It was such a long speech that I already <laughs> forgotten the question. <laughs> the question was, what's the other? Okay. Yeah, so at what point uh, did you get the idea that this project uh, could be uh, crowdfunded? Well, um, it was not so difficult <laughs> to realize, you know, uh, because crowdfunding is um, kind of usual thing for um, modern world and uh, more and more musicians um, have gone independent and we were independent <clears throat> from the very beginning. So why not? We talked to a few labels, we declined their um, proposals uh, and basically we have no choice. Uh, if we want to make something really good and um, we have a lot of ideas in our heads and in order to realize them um, the right way so everyone will be happy about uh, we really need uh, good funds and we decided that our fans uh, they are the only <laughs> uh, beings on this planet uh, on which we can count on. So we just did it and um, it was not a mistake, obviously. <laughs> so we're pretty happy about it. I would actually also add that after our Live on Earth show, when we got all of a sudden tons of donations and when we released it as a DVD, which still sounds like hell, that's when also we realized that, okay, we have we were underestimating our fans, basically, that our fan base has reached this our critical mass level when we can fund some, some serious projects. Yeah, you have uh, reached the main goal and I think also one of the extra goals too already. Yes. So how does that feel? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's, it's going to go all the way to all the extra goals too? No, we're, we, the campaign has effectively stopped. The only reason why it's still online is because PayPal has frozen uh, $4,000 of the fans' money and we're in the middle of fighting against that. So they first they blocked our account, but then we went public with it. Our fans started writing them emails. They unblocked the account, but as... A couple of seconds ago, I just got this no notification on the screen that we tried to make a refund, but PayPal deducted that refund from our bank account, not from the $4,000, which are held for refunds, which is crazy, as they said, as they said themselves. Uh, so it looks like we still have a problem here. Uh, but other than that, the, project, the crowdfunding had to end back on, I think on Saturday, we just have to keep it going until we sort the PayPal thing out. 